I am at the world's largest 7-Eleven. It's the biggest in the world. It has this boat theme. It has an anchor up front. And it has a shade like a boat. It's in my home province of Chambéry. And Pattaya is a like a township or something. Like a town inside of a province. So we're about to head inside. There's a sitting area and a gigantic outdoor fan. Larger than the one I have. So it's very nice. Clean. Let's check out this devil's sitting area inside. Let's start from the very first roll. There's cosmetic stuff. Look at how fancy this place is. It puts US 7 Eleven to shame. As medicine, and ice creams, baked goods. I guess they make it fresh or they get it delivered. There's some leftover donuts. They have it. It has a cafe. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, candle king, double chocolate, matcha latte, iced tea. And it has um, uh, yummy something. That's food. Right. That's like ramen. Okay. Oh, different flavors of ramen. This is <coughs> this is something that Thai. <clears throat> Land, um, 7 Eleven Thailand has is a bunch of food that are ready to eat and heat up, and they will heat it up for you. So you just pick something that you like, and they will heat it up for you in their microwave, and it's ready to go, ready to be eaten. Oh, Kanun, that's a uh, jackfruit. And uh, kind of a grapefruit, mango. I'm coming back for that jackfruit. And there's some other stuff. There's some dessert stuff here too. I eat from here all the time. And I'm gonna miss 7-Eleven when I go back to the US because we just don't have this kind of stuff in the US. Like how many flavors of yogurt milk and um, so you can get fried rice here. You can get fried rice, fried, fried rice with pork. Chicken, uh, kapawu chicken, and all sorts of like pre finished meals that you can heat up in the microwave and they'll do it for you. So, all the fountain drinks, then there's all the other drinks, all the green tea stuff, and I can show you what I'm into lately. So, right now, my favorite thing is this right here. This birdie uh, espresso. Let me see the English side of it. Right there. Espresso with less sugar. 
pretty good. That's my favorite so far. The, other, the rest of the stuff, eh, not so much. The other stuff I like is Oishi green tea right there, which is the toasted rice flavor or the Japanese rice flavor. And I like the soy milk with black sesame seed right there. That's really good. Then there's water and all this stuff. Snacks. We go through all the snacks. And also Thailand has various types of snacks. Even though it's a, it's a U.S. counterpart like Lay's, we have different flavors of Lay's. Like <laughs> here we have uh, Oni Sarai. Um, it's a, uh, what is it? Seaweed flavor. And then extra barbecue or something and uh, look, look, yeah this is squid squid hot chili squid uh, like this one uh, yang kam lots of which is this flavor it's really weird I mean that that's really good but I haven't tasted that flavor so it's really kind of cool and you have like Lay's Max it has different kinds of flavors and these are kind of flavors that you don't see in the US at all Mala barbecue uh, quick pow cheese which is a toasted chili and cheese or something um, this is chow cream that, oh, oh, that's a sour cream that's I don't know, that's uh, also seaweed. What is this one? Oh, the barbecue max. Barbecue max. So all different sorts of flavors of raisin and even the crinkles are different, right? Meat lover pizza, garlic prawn. And spicy lobster rays, sour cream onions, original, and squid, uh, grilled squid, Pringles, grilled squid, Pringles, sweet mayo. This is this is more like the U.S. version, but definitely has a lot of extra flavors. So. Let's go upstairs. Oh, oh, they're closed for cleaning. Oh, the upstairs area, there's no more retail, it's just tables. Like areas where you can have food and drinks. And that's it. Yes. So this is kind of like the outdoor sitting area for the 7-Eleven. ATMs and toilet areas. It's pretty cool.